awesome. Inspiring. Amazing. Powerful. Fascinating. Well, when a young person comes to GYC, first thing they're going to encounter is the Word of God and prayer. And the whole conference is built around the concept of young people being able to get on their knees, get on their faces, open the Word of God, encounter Him really practically through the presentations that they have, through the breakout sessions, through the plenary sessions, networking with other young people who are also on fire for God, um, being able to go into the exhibit halls filled to the brim with ministry after ministry opportunity, with resources for their, to develop their spiritual walk, with opportunities to go and go out and you know, share the good news of, of Christ with others. Um, all those things combined into a package end up touching young people's hearts individually as they, as they go through the conference. And I think the beauty of GYC is that it actually um, facilitates something simple, and that is the plain reading of the Word of God. And um, I think people resonate to that, with that. There are young people who want something more. It's not just young people who are content, let me just go through life, let me just live on easy street, you know, find the good job, materialism, just be comfortable and be that way till I die. You find young people who are really passionate about something better. They're able to hear something different and something that they can take and use and becomes extremely practical and answers the heart questions that we all have. Um, about God, um, about our surroundings, about our relationships with other people, what we learn, what we want to study, um, and really make sense of our place in the world. I think that in addition to that, um, the beauty of the Seventh-day Adventist message really explains where humanity is in the course of, of the universe and, and, and eternity. And uh, to be able to explain some of those questions that you wouldn't get anywhere else is, is pretty phenomenal. So GYC got started when a bunch of friends of mine and I got together. Uh, we were all from different parts of the country and uh, a lot of us were in areas where there weren't a lot of Adventist young people. And uh, we were, we were for, on one level we were looking for fellowship, um, especially our churches. Uh, that, that we came from didn't have a lot of young people. But second, we wanted an atmosphere where we could study scripture together. But not just study scripture, like just get together and do a Bible study, but like go all out and understand um, some of these more difficult uh, portions of scripture, the, the portions that a lot of other churches didn't talk about. And I wanted to really, you know, we say we believe this, the whole, whole Bible, but I wanted to see what, you know, Ezekiel, Daniel, Revelation, and then the repercussions of that. Why the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Why evangelism? How to do evangelism? Um, why, why Adventists are so different from everyone else, even within the Protestant world? So, you know, during our college years, these are years where we're trying to find ourselves and our identity. And, uh, you know, if we're going to be Adventist, let's be Adventist, let's go all out. And so we wanted to kind of, kind of create this kind of atmosphere. GYC believes that the Bible is the living Word of God and it's something that every young person has to discover for themselves. To understand not only that the Bible is a book that talks about Jesus, but it really does more than that. It is the book that, that tells us what our mission and message is by pointing us back to the mission and message of Christ. We believe that the Bible is the standard of truth that the Bible is the standard by which we measure truth around us. There are many truth claims in the world today. In postmodernism, there really is no truth with a capital T. So how, how does a belief in the Bible and the words of Jesus Christ, I am the way, the truth, and the life really matter? So what GYC tries to do is to anchor young people back into the Word of God. How can we understand the Word of God? How can we understand Jesus Christ who is the Word made flesh. How can we understand the Holy Spirit who inspired the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and the writers of the Bible and understand God's mission and message and what it, was, what it is that he wants us to convey to the world. GYC started in 2002. 
just this group of college kids that wanted to get together, wanted to get to know Christ more, wanted to be trained in evangelism, and from there, got their friends together, had a meeting, and exploded after that. Today, GYC has reached all over the world. I go anywhere in the United States, young people know about GYC. They know about the values behind the movement, because that really is the biggest thing, knowing Christ, knowing His Word, following after Him, seeking to do His acts here on earth, seeking to minister to others, evangelism. That concept has gone like wildfire to young people. The concept has spread all over, not because of, an or not because of the organization, but because it's just what's in the Word of God. The concept of being so in love with Jesus that it radically changes your life, those values will never die, ever, no matter what happens. A lot of times when we approach the spirit of prophecy, we think it's a man-made thing or that it's not warranted by Scripture. But as a matter of fact, Revelation promotes the spirit of prophecy. The entire Word of God promotes the spirit of prophecy. It says we have a prophetic word confirmed, found in, in the book of Peter. And as GYC, we want to we want to confirm that spirit of prophecy. We want to talk about it because it's so sure. Most of Scripture is prophecy. And if prophecy, if we ignore prophecy, where can we go? We'll do away with Christ because as well as most of Scripture's prophecy, all of Scripture reveals Christ. And the spirit of prophecy, it's the lesser light. But that does not mean that there is no light. There is indeed a light that if we follow it, we will understand the greater light even better. And at GYC, that is what we want to do. We want to uplift the Word of God, but we want to have all the lights we need to live this life. If someone doesn't naturally have a desire to share with others, then the, the situation is not that they need inspiration for evangelism, but they need to understand that Christ gave up everything. And if God was willing to leave everything, leave the comforts of home, leave the comforts of heaven and the adoration of angels, then why wouldn't I be willing to go and share the gospel with the person across the street or in my community? Rejection no longer is something that's to be feared or dreaded, but when I understand that Christ was rejected by the people he came to save, but yet he did it for me, then how would I not do it for someone else? You know, Jesus says in, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, and he says, Therefore, whatsoever you'd have men do unto you, do also unto them, for this is all the law and the prophets. And in commenting on that in Thoughts from the Mount of Blessings, Ellen White talks about how as God has entrusted to us the light of the gospel, in the same way that we would desire for someone to share that gospel to us if we were lost, we have to therefore go and share it with those who are sitting in darkness. So in other words, if we understand the weight and significance of the gospel in our own lives, it's going to be a natural outgrowth to share that with other people. It's, it's comfortable, it's easy to be comfortable as Americans. I mean, we're used to, you know, social boundaries and what political correctness, but yet God calls us to be faithful to sharing the gospel with people. That doesn't necessarily mean being weird and bizarre and preaching on street corners, but yet he does call us to faithfully share the gospels, gospel with those who know it and don't know it and need to know it and that we would seek for them to understand the love of Christ just as much as we would want to understand it if we were lost. GYC is one of those very unique organizations that has within its own character, its own mission statement, an understanding of deep Bible study, of a close adherence to God's Word and to what God intends to see happen, coupled with an outreach service activity. Therefore, GYC has a tremendous role that it can play in helping young people find real meaning in life because when you know Christ, you then feel impelled to share Him with others. And GYC provides that modality, that medium through which people can share with others in a very dynamic way. It also provides a tremendous opportunity for young people to get together from all over uh, this country and division as well as from around the world. Uh, it works closely with church organizations and we're proud of what 
the young people of GYC have done and by God's grace, what they will do. GYC really impacted me. Like, just the word of God, it really touched my heart and it's been a great experience and it makes me want to come again, even though like this is my first time coming and it's so exciting meeting new friends and hearing the gospel. So yeah, it really impacted me a lot. <laughs> It's been great because it, being with just so many youth here, it's great to know that one isn't alone. And, you know, it's really inspiring to see so many youth like on fire for God. And it really is beautiful to see everybody so united. So it's, it's been a great experience. It's really shown me that I'm not alone and that, you know, God is with me always. It's really good to see like, that you're not the only person that going through the same things and that the hearing other people's testimonies on how God has changed your life is just you just want to be able to go and share God's word for he could come sooner and just to see that um, that so many people want to actually come together and learn more about the word of God it's it's just really fulfilling and it just makes you it made me want to just be able to do more stuff more things for God powerful. He has empowered me and equipped me to be able to reach out in my community with the gospel of the three angels message and to be able to live a life that truly exemplifies um, the life of Christ in this generation. And I think what makes uh, GYC exceptional is the people who are truly just living an exceptional life for Christ. Know that outside the gate, Jesus died so that you can be sanctified so that you can be made whole.